Well, howdy. Welcome to today's video. Today I'm still working on my trail list. Just get the things that people have suggested along the way. People, players. Um, one of the seed suggestions is to um, try allowing the sword swing during the blink slightly. So you could come out of a blink with the sword you know like halfway swung or something like that so it's actually pretty simple I already had it that way when I first started the blink and I disabled it because it was super OP ah, here it is it allows oh see I already did this you can do it during halfway through the swing but I think this might be Cooldown per oh so basically I need to create a cooldown variable and do like half of it right here. Let's see what the normal cooldown is for this. Down. What's up, bud? You're first, man. First. How you been? Cool down point nine two seven. Okay, there must be something else preventing the sword from working during this. Is it that you said dumb? Um, it's amazing! <laughs> oh, dude, check this out! Check this out! This you'll love this. Um, so yeah, there's there's momentum now. There's the top hat. You can pick up the bombs with the top hat, but there's also combos. So um, the number underneath the underneath rock on the left is the combo number. So it's currently at zero, but if I hit this, one, two, three, four, five. So it's combos, right? The faster you, or the more combos you get, you only land a combo if you actually land a hit. If you miss, it resets your combo timer. But if you keep hitting combos, like you keep hitting enemies, you your sword swing gets faster and faster. Your cooldown for your sword swing gets faster and faster. So that's pretty sweet too. So, and that happens no matter whether you have the glove or whether you, um, whether you don't have the glove, so. What's up, Mr. Francie? Yeah, so that's pretty neat, too. Do I have the bomb thing? I do, I love the bomb thing. All right, cool. So what I'm working on now is just allowing the player to start the sword swing during the blink, but not the whole blink. And I already had this. Let's see. What if I just comment this out? Does that actually do allow you to do this? Oh, it certainly does. Okay, so that was doing something. So if I set this to like even 0.35, so I had it at point, this is, the cooldown is currently 0.9. This is about a third of it. And it felt like it wasn't working, but that's maybe because I was using the keyboard. Let's do a cooldown times a third. Thank you. 
that's it. You have to hold down the sword button for it to actually happen. This all is in slow motion. Hmm. It's like sometimes it doesn't work and sometimes it does. Sometimes he just turns back around. This is so weird. Uh, this, is, this might take a minute to fix. Why can he sometimes start his sword swing? Okay, one little thing. You shouldn't be able to, so using the, the blink should also set, or I mean, using the sword should set a cooldown on the blink. Mutinous, what's up? Think about how cool counters with, with worked in blink would be. What? What you mean? Unsheath, star attack, here we go. Set cooldown. All right, so we want to set a cooldown for the blink. So you can't use your blink. Can't start blinking during sword swing. With this. So you blink dodge an enemy. Oh yeah. That's what this is about. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm doing. So I'm making it so you can start attacking the, with the sword during the blink. Not the entire blink, just the end of it. So you should be able to come out of the blink with the sword like part way through its swing. That's the goal for this. And and yes, that should be possible. So you should be able to dodge over an enemy and then start swinging the sword and even turn back around if you want during that. So change your direction. So this should be this should really help to make uh, once again putting more power to the player. Like as as long as you're pressing the right directions on the on the D-pad and you're you know what you're doing you're going to be have a lot more control over your blink combined with the sword. Okay, I just want to check that if it had the equip index there. Okay, let's see if that helps a little bit with the not being able to blink if you're Yeah, during the sword cooldown. Yeah, totally. Just powered players, especially the sloth players. Okay, so let's go, once again, slow motion really, really helps with this. Okay, so if I start a sword swing and then try and blink, 
It does happen, but that's because it's after the sword's cooldown. Okay, sword, blink. Yeah, okay, that's better. Basically, you can, you can do it, but it waits until after the sword is done its, its cooldown. Wait, so can you sword, blink, sword? Sword, blink, sword. Okay, the sword after the blink is, is kind of problematic at this point. So blink, sword. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Gotta figure out why. down the button it seems to work. I go, oh. Just doesn't work if you Hmm. I gotta look at the code. Looking at the code, looking at the code. Probably will help, probably will help. Do, 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 do. Hold on. Before I before I look at the code, what if I do a really short cooldown on the sword? Oh, that totally works. I was swinging. Ahoy! What's up, Sound Dongs? What are we trying? We're trying to we're trying to use the sword during the blink. So the last half of the blink, you should be able to start swinging the sword. Okay, that did work. the button and let go he swings the sword just as normal but if I start blinking and then press the button and let go oh wait that time it worked to do a spinning attack while traveling in blink animation will there be a dedicated counter buttons what do you mean dedicated counter buttons? Oh, now it's like working. the input system work as far as using buttons go? If you're... Uh, 
Okay, so there's use and there's release. That's right. And so far, only the palm has the release. Imagine pressing a button to parry or pressing a key combination, perhaps enabled via an item. Hmm. So you're just thinking of a parry? Oh, a counter like a parry. Oh, okay, like a... Hmm. All good thoughts. Really good thoughts. Yeah. What's up, T? Got is down and did release. Is down and not locked. What would locked be? Oh, a nim input locked. Oh, that's right. That's probably what's happening. Is down and not locked. You can use the item. Ah, uh, okay. It's probably that the player is input locked. Ow. Yeah, it's got to be it. So this is where it's just determining your where it's going to blink to. This is just determining the animation it's going to use. If it was specific to new game pluses so to give you more mechanics to keep you interested yeah yeah so the game already has the shield item which is supposed to be how you would basically it's your defense right it's your it's kind of like but a parry would be pretty neat Teague, what, what kind of stuff am I trying? I'm, I'm trying uh, getting it so you can use the sword during the blink. So I already had it this way when I first started, and it was super OP, where you could blink and swing the sword during the blink, and it was really just too powerful. Like, you, you could just, <laughs> you could be invincible and hitting people. It was super OP. So um, I still want to do that, but not um, during the whole just towards the end of the blink. So you start the blink, maybe half of it goes by, and then you can start swinging the sword and come out of the blink with a little bit of an advantage if you're good at the timing. So elemental animation trail. This is just animation. Departure, here's where the important part comes in right here. It's gonna run this animation well, the separate sprite's okay, the additive sprite's okay. Set animation. Where does it take, where does it do an Im move lock though, or input locked? Does it not do that? It doesn't, it doesn't ever do that. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out right now why sometimes I'm able to swing the sword and sometimes I'm not. It's kind of confusing and I can't really, I'm not, I haven't really been able to nail it down. Arrival. This happens. 
0.2 seconds in always. This needs to be a Here's where it does the AOE damage. Someone's in the kitchen. Yeah. What well, is it? Now your sprite becomes invisible. I wonder if that has anything to do with it. Oh yeah, I was I'm messing with all this, so you'd never... Hmm. Okay, I got it. What I'll do is, is I'll f I'll get it to to like not happen. Like if I start blinking, press the sword, release the sword, and it doesn't happen. I'll set a breakpoint and then use the sword so we can figure out why why it's doing that. <laughs> Okay. Oh, sometimes it doesn't allow you to start the attack, too. That's right. Okay. All right. I'm going to time this just perfectly. So start blinking, press and let go of the sword. Okay, nothing happened. Yeah, it didn't even like register that. Is it because it's so slow? No, it didn't even happen that time. There, it happened that time. Okay, so it's not, it's not even using the sword. Okay. Set a breakpoint here. Figure out why. Why is this not triggering? If the item is the sword and the button is down, set a breakpoint. Why? If it's not even getting here, then it's... No, it has to be getting there at least. There, 
it didn't work. Why would it not even register the button being down? Okay, let's see if it's let's see if we can get some insight on this one right here. He's down true. Damn, this time it just worked. There's really no point in checking that. Ah, so okay, that is some insight. There's something going on where it didn't even recognize the button being. Being pressed. Why is that? Here we are in use button. What could possibly, okay, so it's not if, you have to be alive, of course. It's not the gear button. It's not the pause game. I wonder if it's actually in the controller input. Button two that I'm looking at. And button six is the blink button. Yeah, it's definitely hitting the button. But is it actually pressing the A button? Yeah, it is. It totally is. If I slow down time, does it still do it? Yeah, I saw it press the button. Yeah, 
I totally pressed the button and it just ignored it in the input system. Which is freaking me out, man, freaking me out. I don't know why it's doing this. Couldn't figure it out though. Maybe it's some, is it all the way back in the freaking tick? Can't be, can it? Can't be. Where does it debug the input system? Hello, Cresser. What's up? Controller verbosity. Where the hell is that? Oh, that's going to be an input controllers. Okay. Which is ticked where exactly? Debug display. Okay, and where does it does this get called? From the tick. It's controllers tick, which is called from input tick controllers, which is called from I think the main tick. So how come you can recognize input but the freaking input system can't? Okay, so that gets called at the beginning of the tick. About the wall boss, what do you think about adding momentum flag? The momentum flag, where it... The momentum flag meant that when it attacked, it gained some movement. You attack specific points to prevent its attacks. But failing makes it lunge, damaging the player and quicken their death. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, that's a great idea. So you attack their, yeah, like attacking it well and and like scoring some blows like kind of prevents it from moving. But if it attacks you and succeeds, then it moves forward. Yeah, I mean, I'll definitely play around with that. I can't wait to get back to that boss and make him better. It's gonna be a fun. It's gonna be a really fun boss fight, I think. Once it's all, once it's all done. Okay, it ticks the controllers, and then it calls input system tick really shortly after that. There's basically no reason why it wouldn't be getting. I wouldn't call this. Hold on, debug display. Yeah, it's straight up giving you exactly what the player's input component is like during that tick. Okay, input system, why? Hold on. Of course it might not it might not tick this if the tick is sleeping. But we obviously I was seeing the input happen. So it it must not be that. Alright. 
We'll set a breakpoint. What's up to you or neck? You're on the Jumbotron for programming. Cool, man. What's that? What's the Jumbotron? What's up, Jumbotron? All right. If um if this is the player swinging the sword, E dot input dot get equip index no gear gear dot get equip index for k items sword <clears throat> the featured stream what no way what an honor what an honor that's so great thanks for letting me know to Jurnek Oh, TJ, got you, man. Cool. Thanks, TJ. That's sweet. I think this this might be a first. Cool. Yep, I'm programming. <laughs> okay, so um, get equip index for the sword. Um, if the player is pressing that button right then, e dot input dot is button down. K button well it'll be the swords button. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that as A because I know it's that. Set a breakpoint. Wait, this is one there's one check here. It ign ign yeah. I could be ignoring lock, but I don't think I need to. Is the website broken? What? What you mean? Okay, so it's gonna break here when I first press use the sword to to bring it out. Whoops. Okay, so I want to slow down time. Let's turn off the debug display here. All right, now I'm gonna blink and use the sword. My God, it still didn't break. There, that time it broke. But that first time it didn't. It's broken. Okay, this time it worked. I don't know, it is a, it is a, a Tumblr site, so it might be just be Tumblr's fault. Uh, loads for me too. Um, I don't know why. Why is it broken? Okay, here we are. I press the button. Let's see if anything prevents this from getting to where it uses the button. This should be the first one. Some of the images are busted. Which ones? I thought I was using images all from my own website, which could be the problem. Oh no, this is static.tumblr. Okay, that might be part of it. I'm using images from from Tumblr. I uploaded them to Tumblr. I've got these on my own website. Maybe I should just use the links there. Yeah, these are all coming from static.tumblr.com, which probably means that there's something wrong on... Is it happening for YouTube, Woogie? 
Oh, oh, that's the programming? Sweet, man. The top one. Okay, so yeah, it's just, these are all coming from static.tumblr. Yeah, both these. That's weird. I don't know why, I don't know why it's working for me and other people, but it's not working for you. But I would imagine that something's gone wrong from on, from, from your, from you to get to static.tumblr.com's this image. It might be, it might be Tumblr's fault or it might be something along the way. I don't know. What I could do is just use them for my own site, which I might just do that later. Okay, K button A, ignore lock false. Is down, is true. Oh. Because the cooldowns. There's still a little bit of cooldown left. It's not the repeat count, is it? Oh, it's the repeat count. Repeat count too. Okay. Let me set this breakpoint off. Oh, but that doesn't make any sense why I wouldn't have gotten to that other time when I set the breakpoint. Oh, this is driving me crazy. Okay, what if I don't even, what if I just ignore this? Is this the behavior that I want? Man, I just I jumped into the stream thinking, oh, this is gonna take fifteen minutes. Never things never take fifteen minutes. What's up, Zilton? Something that should take fifteen minutes usually takes two hours. Alright. Slow motion, pay attention. Blink, press the sword. Nothing happened! Wait, no, it did happen! That time it didn't! What the hell? Hold on. Hold on. Maybe this is just all a trick of the eye. Maybe I'm just... Maybe it's because the player is invisible. <laughs> Programmers don't know how to calculate time ever. So true. You have a great idea for a game where you don't know how to do the code? You just say a very long time. I agree. A very long time. Okay, when I use the blink, this time, I'm going to make it so the player is not invisible, but just... Like, halfway transparent. And here's where it says visible true. Hopefully this will make it obvious. Oh yeah, right? Zilton, it's so true, is it not? 
Matinee editor? What's that? Okay. There. It did it again. I was watching the whole time. I pressed the blink button. I pressed the sword button. And they didn't swing the sword at all. Oh, see, that time they equipped. Oh! That time the same thing happened. I pressed the button, but it didn't recognize the input. Okay. That's what's going on. That time it did. Oh, same thing that time. Okay, hold on. Button two. Oh, it's not even recognizing the button. Oh my god, it's all the way down in the controller code. It's a legacy tool. It lets you set keyframes for stuff. Oh, okay. Mute, this that's a good question. Let me check that out on the keyboard really quick. I think it has something to do with holding down another button and then releasing them both at the same time, maybe? Same thing happens on the keyboard, but I, I would expect that on the keyboard because the keyboard event system is not as it's not as accurate. It's not as fast. Oh my god, man! This is a, once again another deep rabbit hole. But I really should focus on this and fix this because if there's if there's any chance that I can improve the input for Songbringer, this will be rad. Maybe it's only when I slow down time. <sighs> blueprints. What are the blueprints? <laughs> yeah, mutinous, totally. You were featured once a long time ago? Oh, on the programming? That's cool. <laughs> you pass out and woke up in your chair? Nice. Oh, no base programming. Oh, like, oh, like you, like you Unreal has. Right, right. Okay. Yeah, that's some pretty, that's awesome. 
Okay, one thing so far, this is really helpful to have the blink be all halfway invisible when you're in debug mode. I think I'm gonna do this if, um, I'll get the current uh, render verbosity. The new Pixar shirt for what's that? So verbosity is greater than zero. Just set the opacity. We'll capture this in here. And here. I'm using it, I'm capturing it inside um, this closure um, instead of looking it up again because I want to restore the sprite to visible if we started by not having the sprite invisible. So that should be pretty cool. As long as I turn on the verbose uh, debugging feature, I'll be able to see the player during his blink. That should really help debugging it. Uh, Piper, huh? Okay, I don't know if uh, the the keyboard input and the controller input are so much different. So I'm gonna focus on the controller first. Int button. I think what's going to happen here, if I set a breakpoint here, let's check on which buttons it's going to use. Graphics debugging in a nutshell. <laughs> yeah, man, that's what that's what you probably feel like right now. I'm sure. <laughs> like it's on us, really. Okay. Press this, and I think it should be in. Okay, in button one. That's button five. Okay, so now I know what two buttons to be debugging. So button is one or buttons five. Then we're gonna make a little log statement. Give me the tick number. Do I have tick? I need tick. So the current tick number and button percent D code percent X is down.
Ah, she took me to Counter Strike. What happened? That was weird. I pressed your GIF and it took me to Counter Strike. Somebody's Counter Strike stream. Ah, right. Oh man. Oh, you're dude. You're still in that zone. Oh man, that sucks. Okay, here we go. I've got some two log statements. Once again, the tried and true workhorse of all programmers, the log statement. I got two log statements. I'm, I'm focusing in on just those two controller buttons and I'm setting whenever they're pressed or whenever they're released, I'm showing a log statement and logging which tick it happened at so that I can figure out what's going on. Is it, when I, is it that it's not even getting is the function for this not even being called here all the way down in the controller input or what? You, oh sweet, you at least got it back to rendering properly for one frame? That's a good start, man. Okay, slowing down time. Take the sword out. Start blinking and press the button really fast. It's all I needed right there. What happened? I pressed both of those buttons. Here we go. Button one, code face is down, release the very next tick. So I let it I let go of it so fast. Wait, no, no, that was when I drew the sword. Okay, that's when I drew the sword. Here's where I I pressed the blink button. I did release both of them in exactly the same tick. But there was there was a good oh Of course it's not going to allow me to press the button right after I did the oh, of course. Well, that's because that's just oh. it's because of the um Okay, so that wasn't it. I didn't actually capture the situation. I'll see you, Boogie. Later, man. Oh, man. Am I just chasing the wind here? What the hell am I doing? I saw I triggered the input both those times. It's just that it's, it's just that it had a freaking cooldown. It's got to be what it was. I, I don't think I'm actually capturing the situations yet. The problem. What an elusive thing. This is where I drew the sword. Oh, look at that. That's it right there. Oh. There, I caught the situation. That's the problem. 
it not only pressed the button, but it released the button in the exact same tick. It must have happened because I slowed down time so much too. We effectively, the game is running at such a low frame rate. And I pressed the button and released it in exactly the same frame, so it canceled out its input. Oh my god. So good to realize. Oh man, I didn't know this was even in possible in this engine. But this is. So this is going to be a huge fix, for, especially for Twitch players. Twitchy player, people that are they're fast with their fingers, they can like press a button super duper duper fast. You would have if you if you right now if you play Songbringer and you press a button super duper fast, it won't even do anything because it cancels out your input. So I need to come up with a way right now to fix this. So basically, it could delay the input to the next tick, maybe at least. So you get one tick where it's allowing that input, and then the next tick. It releases it. Okay, how would I do that though? I'm gonna get a drink of water real quick. That'll help. What's up, boys and grog? Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so stoked. Dinner, the dinner that my lady just cooked looks so good. Oh, it's like panko crusted fish with Brussels sprouts and potatoes. It's delicious. So it's all ready. So I, I gotta get going. Gotta fill up my mouth with food. But this is incredible right here. This is actually super good that I finally caught this little bug. So there was this issue where, I'll, I'll illustrate it right here. What kind of fish? Salmon! Oh, it's salmon! Oh, you just, you just finished dinner and that made you hungry? <laughs> uh... So if you press a button, if you press a button fast enough, it won't recognize it. Let's see if I can get it that to happen. See, so yeah, in regular time, it's almost impossible for this to happen. But if you slow down time, there, I just did it. Same thing again, I'm pressing the button. See? Oh, that time it worked. That time it worked. Damn it. <laughs> now it's not working. There. Uh, no. I don't know. You got to you got to time it just perfectly, but it will cancel out the input. So I, after after dinner, I'll come back and I'll fix this little bug, figure out something. You didn't eat for the whole day? What? <laughs> oh no. You guys are hungry. <laughs> you guys are like, stop. Uh, well, yeah, so, um, so it was good hanging with you guys for a minute today. Um, but yeah, wizard food's getting some wizard food now. So I'll catch you guys next time. Once again, I appreciate y'all. This is a starving stream. It's like the starving games. Uh, all right, so catch you guys next time.